Ryan Spadola is the type of person who will catch your attention. The 6'3 wide receiver is a success in the classroom and on the field at Lehigh. He's garnered numerous academic and athletic awards, and he recently surpassed the 3,000-yard receiving mark for his career. Coming off his second straight 1,000-yard season, Spadola knows he's lucky to be wearing the brown and white. You know, it's awesome. I came from high school, you know, where we really didn't accumulate too many wins over the years, never won a championship. So, you know, coming in and like not just winning one, but winning two, obviously is, a, is quite, quite an honor. Spadola would love to add a third title before he leaves, but no matter what happens, he will have accomplished a great deal at Lehigh. Obviously, over the past two years, uh, Lehigh, the tradition here has been excellent uh, with all the wins we've accumulated, um, all the accomplishments we've kind of had. Going to the playoffs, you know, beating Lafayette four years in a row, um, getting two back-to-back -back Pickle League championships. So, you know, coming to this year, we have a lot of high expectations for ourselves. So, you know, we just really got to make sure that we stay goal-oriented and we just take it day by day and make sure that we continue that success that we've kind of garnered in the past two years. The senior from Howell, New Jersey, has been one of the top receivers in the nation. And even though he hasn't gotten into the end zone this season to push his career touchdown total to 21, he's caught 21 passes for 355 yards to eclipse the 3,000-yard receiving mark. He accomplished that milestone in a win against Princeton, and he found out shortly after the game. Obviously a big accomplishment, 3,000 yards receiver is, is quite a lot. I really actually didn't even know about it, so after the game, of course, my mom kind of gave me the information about it. But I feel like a lot of that has to go off to the offense that I've had the last two years and this year as well. Everyone from the offensive line, the running backs, and obviously two great quarterbacks, the Chris Lum and Mike Colvin this year. So those guys really kind of enabled me to get the success I had. If I weren't for them, I wouldn't be where I am and I wouldn't have been able to accumulate the, all the yards I had the past two years. But Spadola has redefined his game to help put new quarterback Michael Colvin and other newcomers to the offense in a position to succeed. Uh, there are a lot of obvious, obvious challenges all around the offense. Uh, you know, we did lose a lot of guys last year, guys that played for us the past two years that enabled us to have the success we've had as an offense. Um, but, you know, I think so far guys really stepped into the roles and really taken on kind of a unique aspect to the offense. Uh, you know, Mike, he opened up doors to really open up a running game more, and that's proven all year long so far. You know, he really helped out with that. Um, I guess challenges in, in terms of getting the ball in the air, you know, defenses have been doing a real good job this year give me a lot of a double, double coverage looks. So that's kind of made things more difficult, but it's enabled me to work more on my blocking, uh, I'm able to work on my routes more. So there's definitely been positive aspects of it, but you know, it's still a challenge, and as the year goes on, the offense begin to mesh, and we'll be able to kind of find our own little stride. Getting a chance to work on all aspects of his game will come in handy after the season, as Spadola plans to chase his NFL dream. I'm really gonna try to push that. You know, it's always been a dream of mine, and you only get one shot at your dream, so I'm really gonna try to go for that. When Spadola is finished with his professional career in football, he'll look to follow in the footsteps of Chris Lum and graduated wide receiver Jake Drawl as a supply chain management major. I came in here, I was like, I was doing the finance major, so everyone does. It's like, all right, I'll go with that route. Took a few classes, realized it wasn't for me. Uh, talked to a bunch of guys on the team, primarily Chris and uh, Jake. They were majoring in supply chain. They introduced me to the supply chain department, talked to professors there, kind of gave me an overview of what it was all about. And I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. And I took the classes, and it ended up being a perfect fit for me. So the topic meshed well with me, and so far I've been succeeding in the classroom with the supply chain. So hopefully that opens doors for the future. And no matter what Spadola winds up doing in the future, there's one place you'll surely find him, and that's on the golf course. You know, uh, I have my days, you know, I'll, I'll hit pretty good. And, you know, the days where I go out there, and it, it's not so pretty. But I just like going out there and having fun and relaxing, and that's what I really care about the most. He's not the only one out there as a few members of the team make an effort to get away from the football field and relax on the course. But when it comes to memorable shots, Spadola says it's Colvin who has the great swing. He uh, somehow has, has the golf gods at his size. Me, I have to really work for my game. So, you know, there's, I'd probably say there's more memories related to Colvin's play than mine, but I hope, hopefully I have one of those to come in the future. Spadola may not have a great moment to cherish on the golf course yet, but he has plenty on the football field. On Saturday, Spadola and the Mountain Hawks will take on Fordham as they look to remain undefeated and create a few more memorable moments.